What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? It is Jason Chan, I welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the tools I use to capture both photos and videos on site at my events and here on my channel. Now, this has taken me a long time to kind of put together and gather and I wanted to do this because a number of you from my community here on YouTube have requested information on the cameras I use, the lenses that I use and just the equipment behind the scenes stuff. So here is a video sharing it with you. If you're not familiar with the events that I do at SCE Event Group, I would invite you to check us out here on YouTube at SCE Event Group, or just check us out on Instagram at SCE Event Group or at Jason Janai. You'll get kind of like a front row seat to the things that I am so honored to do for so many different people in so many different places. Content creation has always been a big part of my life at SCE. As a matter of fact, if I go way back to the beginning, I would have doubled down on the camera equipment that I invested in way back when because without platforms like YouTube and Facebook and even MySpace going way, way back, I don't know if I would be in the position that I am right now. Content has allowed me to cast the message of what we're able to do for the people that trust us with their events. And it's allowed me to grow my business significantly in comparison to other people that maybe started their businesses around the same time, but they never shared it with the world. Content has been a big part of who we are at SCE. And since day one, not only myself, but my entire crew at SCE has embraced this kind of thought process and has spent a lot of time, energy, resources, and money into creating content to help promote our brand, getting us in front of more people in a bigger way, both Photo and video content are incredibly important to me and to the SCE event group. So we have dedicated resources on site at each one of my personal events to capture both photo content as well as video content. The key to doing this at events is never getting in the way of the other professionals. I have to say that upfront because we work with a lot of incredibly talented photographers and cinematographers and videographers, but we like to kind of work in the shadows and work almost ninja-like to capture the magic so that we can share it afterwards. We don't interrupt the flow, and I have to say this up front because having this gear is awesome, but the real secret is knowing how to use it in a way that doesn't detract or impact the event in any way, shape, or form. In terms of equipment, I'm a big fan of Sony. For years, I was a big fan of Canon, and a little over two years ago, I shifted over to Sony. I primarily use the A7 III platform, and we actually carry two bodies to each one of our events, one for photo and one for video. We also have a couple of other camera tools in our arsenal at SCE. The A7 III platform is really, really, really dope. And that's what I use primarily for my videos here on YouTube. And the FX3, which is a cinema kind of camera that we're shooting today and we use on site a lot at our events. Having the right camera bodies is just the start of the equation of how to capture media at the event. Having the right glass and lenses is incredibly important. We use a total of six different lenses when we shoot at SCE. These are fixed focal length lenses, but we do have some others that we twist into the experience depending on who's shooting and where we are and the needs of that event. If I was to break this down, there are tools and things that are used for different style situations. One of my favorite new tools is this G series Sony lens, which is a 1.8 aperture, 14 millimeter lens. This lens is super boss for those really, really wide photos and video content just like this. Wide shots are really, really dope because it allows you to show the entire room edge to edge and it allows to show potential clients what you are truly capable of doing. Another one of my favorite lenses is this one right here. This is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite lens and it's a 20 millimeter Sony G series lens with a 1.8 aperture F stop. This right here is such a boss lens. I think for the investment, this is one of the best values in the Sony lens lineup. Examples of the 20 millimeter lens are just like this.
gives you a really wide shot, a very clean shot. It allows you to capture magic in super low light situations. Another one of our favorite lenses for both photo content as well as video content is this 35 millimeter G-Series lens by Sony with a 1.8 aperture. This lens is super clean and it pretty much resembles exactly the framing you would see with the human eye. We move up to a 55 millimeter 1.8. Now, if you notice, a lot of our lenses are capable of going all the way down to 1.8. Now, the point of that is it allows more light into the lens. It allows you to capture content in darker situations. And when you're doing private events, this really does matter. This 55 millimeter lens allows you to get a little bit closer to your subject without kind of walking in closer to them. Examples of 55 millimeter footage look like this. From there, we just zoom in a little bit closer with another lens, which happens to be one of Rico, who does a lot of my pictures on site at SCE. His favorite lens is the Sony G series 85 millimeter lens. It's a 1.8 aperture lens, and this lens zooms in close enough without having to step closer to your subject. It allows you to capture more content from further away, and it's super, super awesome. Examples of footage with this lens look like this. The last lens in the arsenal of lenses that we use all the time, another one of our Sniper Ninja lenses is this 135 millimeter G-Series lens, also with a 1.8 aperture. This right here is a super expensive lens, but it allows you to get really, really close. It allows you to zoom all the way into subjects, allowing a lot of light to come in, even in dark situations, allowing you to capture both photo content and video content in a professional and clear way. And this lens does that without you having to step anywhere near the subjects you are trying to capture. This lens is super boss for shooting content across the room, from sniping in from way behind a DJ booth or from the other side of the room without getting in the mix or in the way of other professional photographers or cinematographers. One of the most important things you got to think about if you're trying to obtain awesome images is lighting and flashing. This right here is the Pro Photo flash system that was created to work with the Sony camera system. This right here by far is one of the best flash systems on the market and for the investment allows you to do so, so much. Without a flash, it might be challenging to capture some of the content properly and accurately. This allows you to brighten up the photos. This allows you to capture photo content on another level. And if you're taking your imaging and your content integration and your photos seriously, this right here is a flash that you're gonna want to consider. Other things that are super important, batteries. Backup batteries, fast charging battery packs, all of it are very important. Other things that we keep in our camera case, this 22 in one precision screwdriver kit, just in case you need to maintain, tighten, loosen, or adjust any of your lenses or camera gear when you're on site. That's not it. You need one of these. This is like a capture card. It allows you to essentially offload the content taken by a camera onto a computer. You can do that directly from the camera body as well, but sometimes you just might need to feed the SD card over to someone that is working behind the scenes, swap it out for a new card. That person can then offload the images when you're capturing image content and import it directly into Lightroom, which is the actual software platform we use to update and analyze and curate our image content at SCE. Same thing with video content. You can offload your content using this device, 
and not have to weigh down a camera when you're transferring files to and from your SD card. That's not it. For video content, you have to think about tripods or monopods. I'm a big fan of the monoprice monopods that exist, but I also carry a couple of smaller tripods in the event that we are setting up a time-lapse video or we wanna do a direct image or video capture of the DJ booth while we're working. For video content, you have to think about audio and audio integrity and audio quality. We use three different mics at SCE Event Group to kind of capture the audio on site with our video you know, experience and content creation. I'm a big fan of the Rode system. So we use one stereo mic, which allows you to capture all things that are going on in the room. We use one mic that is more dedicated, it's pointed, and that's what you're hearing right here on this FX3 as I record this video. This microphone is super awesome, but it doesn't capture everything going on in the room. It's really pointed direct at where it's facing, and it hones in specifically in that area for audio capture. Another thing that we do for interviews or even when we're doing that behind the scenes kind of take you on a tour of how we line up wedding parties or whatever, we use the Rode Go system. And I'm a big fan of the Rode Go Wireless 2. This allows you to use two transmitters, one receiver, and you can pair them with a lav or just directly, and it allows you to capture content everywhere. These are incredibly cool, incredibly powerful, and incredibly dope, easy to use wireless microphones that are super boss when creating content. All of this stuff sits in a Pelican case that we take to and from each and every one of our events. Now, if you'd like to get further information or specs or even acquire any of the camera equipment I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna take the time to link all of it in the description field down below. You'll be able to see exactly what I'm using. You'll be able to acquire any of it that you're interested in and you'll be able to do your own homework so that when you are in the position to acquire or buy or update or level up your media gear, this could be the link to help you get a little bit further, a little bit faster. If you have any questions on the gear that I'm using, how we create content, how we acquire content or whatever, do me a favor, drop in the comments down below and leave it there for me. And I'll take the time to answer anyone that shares a question or poses a question to me and to the channel. And if you would like to see any specific content on any of these pieces of equipment, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed to this channel here on YouTube, I'd love to take the time to invite you to do so and be on the lookout for more content dripping right here in the days, the weeks, and the months ahead. My name is Jason Janai, and thanks for watching.